Good day, this is Damien from Fiction PC. Today I have a quick video about a very interesting problem I have experienced while updating someone's laptop from Windows 8 to Windows 10. You can see on the screen here there is another cursor within some bubbles. I don't know how well you can see the bubbles but you, I believe you can see two cursors. Not too sure, but right where my mouse is right now, there's a second cursor if you can't see it. So this will persist as long as the following is not done. It's apparently from the forums, it's a glitch where the hardware thinks there are two screens or there's a driver corruption failure or whatever it is. I've, after extensive research, I found the way to get rid of it. You'll have to do a few things. Now, this is an Asus laptop with a Intel Core, Core i3 processor and I was trying to get rid of these things with the way that it was suggested on some forums what I found first thing you have to do is come into here and type tablet mode you see tablet mode settings you select tablet mode settings you have to take off the tablet mode because this apparently is a touch screen feature so change it to desktop mode right so you're not using tablet mode anymore that's the first thing the second thing and probably the most important thing here is to go into device manager you press the windows key and x or you can get to the device manager any way that you see fit so you go to device manager, let's type it in device manager see we have it there, we go up right, on device manager you have to go to human interface devices and then you go on to HID compliant touchscreen, select it right click disable do not these the, the, the forum suggests that you uninstall but when you uninstall it works and then you restart the computer it comes right back so what I would suggest is you disable device and you get the warning you hit yes and it disappears mouse bubble everything and now if you restart you will get back your screen, no bubbles, no extra mouse that will annoy the living daylights out of you when you're trying to do something. Now, one little quirk that I found that also works but it leaves the bubbles is that if it is a touch screen like this is, this has a touch screen feature, you can simply drag your finger over the mouse but then you have to also move the mouse on the touchpad for you to liberate the cursor from the bubble so to speak. But if you want to get rid of all of that, just use the following the, the, the steps that I showed you previously. Alright, um, any questions? Leave it in the comments. And once again, thank you for viewing. This is Damien from Fiction PC, and see you in the next video.